Hello, this is Dr. John Yapurka from the Washington Institute for Dentistry and Laser Surgery. Today's segment focuses on dental implants. And we certainly know that there are a multitude of, of uh, dental implant systems available, up to even 400, I would say, um, especially in the last five years. But one of the areas, or uh, one of the factors that is very important to remember is the material that the actual implant is made of. We certainly know that there's a um, ma uh, majority of, of uh, biomaterial of a uh, solid dental implant, we are accustomed to having it out of stain, um, uh, sorry, titanium, but also recently there's been a ceramic biomaterial made, which certainly has different properties in terms of interactions with the bone, also the adaptability with the bone, and also the longevity. Please do know that those two biomaterials, for example, that I've just given, the, the uh, titanium versus the, the ceramic dental implant, really carry very different techniques in terms of implanting the, the, the implant itself, dealing with the parts and the components that are above the bone, which are, of course, will be having and receiving the crown that you actually see, and so that really creates the visible smile. And know that these particular parts, depending on how sophisticated the dental implant is, which depends on the biomaterial of use, can certainly matter significantly in terms of the application, perhaps the area of the, of the placement, of the surgical placement, either, let's say, in the anterior frontal part of the mouth versus the, the back um, portion of the mouth. And of course, these variables are quite important in terms of the longevity of the actual um, dental implant system, not just at the bone level, but also uh, as well as uh, restorative wise. And of course, the longevity with time and the aging of that particular system. For more information, don't hesitate to contact us on difficult decisions like dental implants. Uh, should you retain a natural tooth structure or should you consider a dental implant? At www.dclaserdentist.com.